Okay, this is the um, April 29th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. We're being videotaped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later by our residents and the public. First item on our agenda, the minutes for the April 22nd meeting. Has everybody had a chance to review the minutes? Yeah, they look great. Everything's good. No uh, additions or uh, deletions, changes. Phil, you okay? Um, yeah. Okay. Yes. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the minutes for April 22nd. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda, we have four warrants tonight. We have a vendor warrant for $36,675 a payroll warrant of $109,830, a payroll deduction warrant of $28,033, and a Conway Grammar School Special Activities Fund, which is a quarterly warrant of $4,124. I'll yes. make a motion that we accept those warrants. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Phil, um, just the uh, the frontier meeting where we agreed on the contract language for their new uh, business director, financial manager. What's I don't even business manager. Um, but uh, and and I think she's going to she's going to start May first. What language? What is her precise title? Was it business manager? Was it finance director? It used to be business manager. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think it's yeah. business manager. So, so, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so business so manager. The job description you're talking about? No, with the contract. Oh, the contract. The oh, okay. nuts and bolts of what we're paying oh, okay. her and what we expect from her. And uh, actually, I'm enthusiastic about her. I think she's going to do really well. That's great. And the number of people that have contacted us and recommended her after we hired her is a really good hmm. good feeling about it so good okay thank you phil bob do you have any um we had a conservation commission meeting this week uh basically finalizing the next amp um deal nice planning board too so we've closed our hearing and and to some extent they're Eventually, they'll be on hold waiting for additional electricity allocation to get freed up. They can't, they won't start actually building anything until mm -hmm. that, until the DPU has to take action for all of Western Massachusetts. But, right. but, but they, they're getting everything finished, so they're ready to go. Um, we, had a, we had a cable advisory meeting um, that's made, you know, with good preparation for our new franchise agreement and Right now, we're trying to finalize what the costs will be to try to be able to go live from the grammar school. So, okay. And then uh, this may or may not be not this kind of meeting, but on Sunday I attended uh, Kenny Wamet's firearm safety class, and and really recommend it for anyone who is interested in, you know. As Lee was there too, you know how to hold a gun, and and uh, you, you know it, it, he he does an excellent lecture. We got to see lots of handguns. Many of us have seen rifles, but not handguns. Mm -hmm. And 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 he brings about twenty five different handguns to the class, all different models, including one that was made here in Conway in about eighteen thirty. That's actually owned by the Historic Commission. It was and it was, it was we didn't shoot that one we didn't even handle that <laughs> one but it was interesting to see That's it the society they don't the, the, oh, the society. Is it the society yeah. yeah and uh and then we went over to the you know to the sportsman's club and actually got to shoot some of the things mm -hmm. and and for many of us i mean i admit i had never shot a handgun before um so okay. so and yeah. I got so I got to shoot a 357 Magnum, which All was right. which was uh, which was at least fun. I don't I'm not going to rush out and buy one. I don't think, mm -hmm. but 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 it it was an excellent class. Yeah. So and you're going to get your license to carry soon, huh? I I will get my my Class A license. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. But that Nichols and Childs revolver is super rare, and it's mm. it's like the it's of all, of all the artifacts that the town are, are in the town's possession. That's it, and. And that company, you know, you've heard of the Spencer repeating rifle? Sure. 
So do you, that company came in second for that competition that Spencer won, and had it, and, and they lost by one vote. Oh. And mm. and had they won, Conway would have forever been known as a arms manufacturing center because they 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 just just think of where we'd be today. I, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what. <laughs> so so Ken didn't know he didn't know where the factory was here in town. He didn't you know he, he he it would be great if somebody who knew some things about that particular the the gun company here in Conway could write something up for Ken. That, uh, he, he, that was know. um located right across the street from Kate French's new house. Mm. Oh, yeah. on Delabar? Yes. Mm. Really? In that field there's a big square. Yes. That, that big foundation that was their gunsmith machine. Was there. Yeah. And they were here mm. about three years or so, three or four years? They uh I don't think they were here long. It was like five years and then a couple year gap and then three years or something okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So, so yeah, this, this is they, they made rifles too, and there's a guy in Texas that wants to sell one for thirty grand. Wow. If if you know him well. And there's an appetite to, to, to restore the one that we have to make it functional, but that's a minimum of like 20 or 25 grand too. Wow. Okay. Um, right. So anybody out there with deep pockets. <laughs> I, I had also taken Ken's class a number of years yeah. ago. Very, uh, very interesting. Very good, yeah. yeah. I have too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. And the class wasn't just Conway folks. There were people from all over oh, Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Came. You know, yeah. You know, yeah, Ken, Ken does, a, does a great job yeah. on that. Okay, thank you, Robert. Uh, public comments, do we have any public comments? I don't see any. Okay, we'll go on to old business. First item on old business, the next AMP project. Sign the agreement to share cost of monitoring the project. Joe, you're up. <laughs> I'm up. Um, we're getting near the end. Um, one of our order of conditions from the planning board is that the construction be monitored um, typically, if there's issues with stormwater management or wetlands issues, they occur during construction. We have a plan for what it should look like after it's built, but you know during mm -hmm. this transition stage. So we did hire. Uh, we're proposing to hire Time Bond for six thousand dollars to monitor next amp construction phase. So there would be someone from Time Bond, uh, probably a junior engineer. Who would then report back to the office every evening what, okay, and, what and, transpired? And, we, and the town is going to bear the cost of it. Um, we're going to split it with them. They're going to put in three thousand okay. dollars, and we're going to take three thousand out of the fifteen thousand dollar fee that we charge them. Okay. So they they put fifteen thousand in for the fee, then they put seventy five hundred in for us to hire a, a peer review engineer, and now they're going to put three thousand in to this monitoring. Okay, so, so they're, actually, they're, in, they're giving us the money that we're <laughs> They gave us the money, that we're going to give them okay. back. <laughs> Three okay. grand, so. That sounds good. If we can figure out how to get the accounting people to do it. Good negotiation, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> so we need you to sign a co two or three, three copies of the. All right, so essentially what we're doing with Ty and Bond is that they're going to just oversee this project. Right. Okay. Um, I think there's two complete documents and, yes. a, and a third signature page. Yeah. Um, any questions? Six hundred dollars per site visit. I hope they, is it like a minimum time amount that they have? Well, to they spend budgeted it? ten ten visits. Uh, I don't know if there's a time limit. They'll be there monitoring the construction activities. <coughs> any other questions for Charles? Uh, you know, we, we, the Conservation Commission felt it's great that that you did this, when we didn't have to worry about this piece of it, mm. and. Uh, and there is a fair amount of wetland and and care that will have to get taken in yeah. protecting the wetland. And there's a lot of justifiably very concerned neighbors who, mm. you, you know, who value the nature of the surrounding lands. And 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 this land is sort of uphill from all of their land. This hill. The advantage of this property is that it's up high on a bluff and won't be seen from the road or anything like that. But the 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 water that you know, this is kind of the headwaters for yeah, right. for a lot of the water that that's down below, and 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 Next Amp was willing to go along with a stricter uh, treatment of of protection around the wetlands than I'll say than they were originally hoping for, and mm -hmm. and I think we got to a good place. The neighbors neighbors were happy. Have you got an agreement with them yet? 
Almost. Almost. We're down to the last. No, they're down to negotiating the final wording of the oh, agreement okay. so you have a and the final agreement, figures. Um, the I haven't seen the final figure, oh, okay. but uh, they're literally down to exchanging phrases. Mm -hmm. Okay. On what the assessment is going to be? God, God bless on you. The, on what the assessment is going to be? Pilot, 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 pilot. Yeah, for the personal property aspect yeah. of it. Yeah. So how'd that go? Yeah. How did All you right, well, we're, we're, let's okay. not get off point here. <laughs> uh, so you're recommending that we sign this? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions for Jeff? No. Nope. Okay. I'll, I'll make a motion that we uh, sign the uh, tie and bond agreement on the recommendation of our planning board. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Gotta keep these guys in line, John. Yeah. <laughs> keep drifting off here. <laughs> so there are two complete documents, and as Joe mentioned, one loose signature page. And one of these is for you. You wanted the original, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> now, it, it, this is a big deal, though. I mean, you know, this is. This is, well, this is new for us. This is new for us, yeah. right. Yeah. We have another one coming over at George Forster's, beginning of Pine Hill. That's a smaller one. That's scheduled to be one megawatt. And we're starting on that one. I think mm -hmm. Lee's starting on it. Mm -hmm. They seem to be for real. They claim they're on the list ahead of next year. They claim, really? They told me that they have, Jeremy said, they have the first two slots. Hmm. And next Stamp has the third slot. What what he told us is that they're merging Eversource and is it North Star, or, and once they do that, North Star has a lot of not is it not, not North Star? Is it? That doesn't sound right. No. I can't think of what it is. Anyway, they're merging uh, National Grid, maybe National, National, Grid. Yeah. Yeah. National yeah. Grid and Eversource. National Grid has a lot. They of have them. a lot. Yeah. And what um, Eversource doesn't have anything left. So when they merge, there's going to be plenty of. Capacity. You're going to combine your two uh, capacities for solar. Oh, okay. Uh, at least that's the version we heard. Okay. All right, next item on our agenda, we have uh, the presentation of Article 34, the Friends of Conway Trust. We have Sue and Lee here to talk to us about that. Okay, well. As soon as Joe gives up the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> you can have one of these, Joe. One of these seats. No, no, I'm done. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for coming thank in very much. much. <laughs> thank your, your board for all the work you're doing okay. on this, please. Do, I will do that. Thank yeah, you. Definitely. Okay. <clears throat> Ladies, how are gentlemen. we doing? We're doing well, thank We're you. We're doing well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, how, how should we begin? I know you want to talk to well, we, talk about a couple of things. Right. We watched la the minutes of last week's meeting and mm -hmm. caught up with a couple of things that I think have been misunderstood. Yeah, and we'd like to sort that out as soon as possible. I misunderstand frequently. Well, But I understand frequently, too. Good. Well, we'll hopefully provide the answers. Um, this would be a, a trust, not a foundation, whatever the difference might be. It would be in separate from town government and not a function of town government, uh, similar to the Conway swimming pool, for mm -hmm. example. It would, you know, serve the people of Conway, but it's not part of our town government. In some ways, the trust might be able to assist town government in different projects or at different times, such mm -hmm. as disaster relief. Perhaps. Um, you know, those would be the purposes. Taking so, you, a so a source the, of money that might, you know, in the case of the tornado, to help mm -hmm. people clean up their, right. uh, their we, property right. or, or... We right. have eight or nine projects which we can talk about. Right. Okay, great. Yeah. Or, in yeah. the case of looking at the Furcog's work, um, Kimberly McPhee would be very excited, is very excited about the possibility of working with a group like this that could actually get the ideas and reports out there working have feet on the ground to implement them, as opposed to having a really good document tucked away in a file cabinet. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, bringing some of these things into, into fruition. Um, I'd like to make clear, you know, you referred to me as, as the assessor a couple of times, which I am, but I want to make it clear 
that the only part of this I did as an assessor was to compile the data on acreage and you know revenues which needed to not collected done, needed which had been requested as a, a request to the assessor's office mm -hmm. uh, I became interested in the project and the rest of it I have done on my own time there's been no conflict there or no as override between the yes sure is an interested yes. citizen mm -hmm. yeah um, we have not applied for any status yet with um, through the state secretary of the Commonwealth's office we're waiting until we're farther along mm -hmm. to apply for our 50 a 50 what would probably be a 501 c3 mm -hmm. okay. charitable yeah um, is that what the pool is too mm -hmm. yeah yep and a uh, festival Yep. 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 Probably the library. Which makes every, any donations tax deductible. Yes, it does. Absolutely. To the extent they can be at this point. Right. In time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. And as far as just you know, letting more folks know by way of this, um, it would be run by a board of trustees mm -hmm. with a director. Any citizen could present a project with their ideas, with what they feel would be the steps needed, the costs needed to fulfill it, and the board of directors would mm -hmm. decide on whether or how or how to what degree it could be um obliged yeah you're working on a mission statement we are okay yes yes yeah this was a collection of preliminary ideas to send out to get feedback mm -hmm. okay. to find a way to better write it more clearly um and in answering more questions that we've had it's been wonderful, actually. It's been yeah. very, very. We've had we've yeah. had people from the pros and the cons both I th I come think, back with that. I think we. It's probably obvious here, but we begin with the assumption that um, lots of events are coming along. Uh, call it global warming, call it global climate change, anything you want to call it, but um, the future will not be like the past. And there are a lot of things we need to do, and uh, we believe the Friends of Trust, uh, Friends of Conway Trust, is is basically positive, mm -hmm. and it's practical, and it's voluntary. Mm -hmm. uh, we we're this is new territory. There's a lot we don't know about, but we're hearing about little piles of money squirreled away yes. <laughs> at Fur Cog that, that where where. You know, it just it requires some citizens, and it won't always be Lee and, and oh, me. No. We don't intend to be officers. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't mind being a a, a, a ground, on-the-ground worker, but I can't do. And I think Lee wants to be the assessor only. Well, no, and I want to keep, keep an absolute, absolute. Uh, clarity yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. between the two so that there's no... Um, possible misunderstanding but so uh, I would be out there planting flowers with everybody else you know or whatever exactly yeah, yeah. but at this point I'm still in the gee what if stage uh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah and the the uh, under the global climate change I'll just speak of my own um, worries about population in general and that is that we've gone a long time in denial or partial, and science has not helped. Science is mispredicted again and again. This is coming faster and harder than any science paper that has been published has predicted. And I'm always worried that we would go as a, as a population uh, from denial to desperation and, and panic. And I think the way not to is to have this sort of positive, practical, voluntary way to get busy and mm -hmm. do things. Lee, are you finished with your points? Maybe not. Yeah, more or less, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I will just mention some of the projects. And these are things that have come over the transom, as it were, to us, and uh, or some that we liked, but every one of them has some citizens potentially interested. Mm -hmm. um, Lee mentioned, and she's been very active and thoughtful about it, and has taken me to a conference, which was wonderful, <laughs> about pollinators. Yes. As we all know, pollinators are dying, and uh, 
they account for anywhere between 17 and 40 percent of our food. So uh, I have a project at my at Wildside, um, and it, in a sense, if I go through with that, it's a fifteen thousand dollar project. It's the best guy. He's the fellow Tom Sullivan who's doing all of Greenfield, a whole corridor of pollinating, and uh, he's going to be speaking here in a couple months. Mm -hmm. at the yeah. Yeah, Dr. Sorry to interrupt you. Dr. No, Beaker no, is that, coming, coming this do. month. Yeah. yeah. Well, t Tom has worked with me for many years, uh, aside from being a Conway School grad. Um, he uh, uh, goes with me every year to the Hallamont School where they teach through agriculture and we talk about mm. pollinators and then they come over to Wildside and we walk around with the fourth graders who I just think, well, what, he was what, the big speaker recently at a Greening Greenfield event. I don't know if that's where you went, but yeah. but he was their their yeah their their speaker mm -hmm. at a large event. No, we about were a week we, ago. we were at a different one about yeah, six weeks. Well, it was two months ago, maybe now. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, um, so pollinators, and there are several people very interested in in the pollinator project. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we need eight or ten different projects around. Small now, ones. Small ones, and also once we learn, you know, either through my project or in some other way, I don't think we have to replicate uh, hiring an expert. You know, just cite them. The the project means getting um, food for pollinators on the shoulder seasons in particular. Mm -hmm. Anyway, wells. I've been obsessing about this for a couple of years. That is, when the drought came. A number of our wells went dry. Um, many people, and I was actually had a long talk with, uh, I, I'd rather not mention names because mm -hmm. the people have to give me permission sure. to say, a long, long talk with a very knowledgeable person who we all know and like, I think, uh, yesterday for an hour and a half about the wells. And uh, he said, well, some people just drew whose wells went dry just drilled deeper because they had the money. And some people didn't because they didn't. And I think that that's not a town project, but it's it's that kind of a, mm -hmm. a good deed that this can do if we can get for Cog or anybody else mm -hmm. a, a foundation uh, to, 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 to make sure that every citizen has a water supply. Yeah. The, food the fire department kept track of the fire ponds that were going dry all yes. the time too. Yes. I mean, so that that's a different kind of pond, mm -hmm. but well, but maybe it's that's something. I mean, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know what. I'm not a hydrologist, so mm -hmm. <laughs> to yeah. put it. Um, another one is yes. Somebody mentioned an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Pumpkin Hollow folks may be in charge of that because mm -hmm. they felt it yeah. when. The tornado came mm -hmm. sweeping through and clipped me too. Uh, but they found there was no no fund and no way of doing it, and the, the town's hands were tied. The insurance it, companies wouldn't cover it. Right. Insurance, you know, I keep saying to people gently. I've been saying it for many years: is don't expect the insurance industry to subsidize global climate change. Or, or, um, or the federal government or the state government. I mean, we really have to look to our own bootstraps here and... and but we wouldn't object to approaching them to, for funds. We'll, we'll ask for everything. To help set up. <laughs> but, you know, that would go toward something that but, could help out for things like that. And then, then wildlife corridors with trail cams to keep track of that world that we all treasure so much. and. Uh, what is the census today? What is it in three years? Do we see the same traffic, or what are what what do we observe? Mm -hmm. uh, Someone very interested in doing that. Um, and at the trail camps, there's a wonderful person who works with um, Franklin Lantras, a woman who uh, will I think help us with the trail cams, not pay for them, but she knows how to do it. She's got fabulous results elsewhere. Uh, infrastructure. Well, uh, again, person I talked to yesterday, uh, uh, thinking about 
um, maybe even finding money for something to house the fire and the ambulance over there. And he was going to get uh, figures from Sunderland today. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard back. Um, to, to say what that would cost. Well, maybe it's not top of our list, but maybe it is. I don't know. There may still be a source out there that we haven't. Oh, many. Searched. Many, I know they've many. been very Our, our state senator, it. Adam Hines, was able to write into a legislation that got signed by the governor that provided $1.5 million for Berniston mm -hmm. um, fire, fire uh, yeah. and ambulance building. That, the state's paying for it. The lock, stock, and barrel. It's just written into the legislation. You'll help us figure that one out with mm -hmm. well, no. Senator well. Hines. Uh, so, wildfire mitigation, access. Uh, again, we were talking about it earlier. Because the nature of conserved lands means no logging in most cases, um, the old logging roads have been grown over and somehow getting ready to act if and when a wildfire sweeps through. I mean, I got on my computer 10 days ago a wildfire warning. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. About the same time, there were two tornadoes just south of uh, Worcester. Mm -hmm. Didn't, thank goodness, hit ground, but they could have. I mean, these are not normal times, but I find action uh, sets my mind at ease. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and interestingly, yesterday at the gun the yeah. gun safety course, I sat next to a fellow from Montague who is a federal forest firefighter. Yes. Yeah. He and his wife both. And I said, well, you know, he has served in California and the Midwest. Those all over the country. All over the country. Yeah. Wherever he's posted, he is now here. And I said, well, what is our, our um, vulnerability here? He said, weather-wise, not as much. You're getting many more thunderstorms than you used to, they're coming year-round, basically. Mm -hmm. Who ever heard of snow thunder when we were kids? Mm -hmm. You know, thunders. And But at any rate, uh, he said, but the problem here will be access to woodlands. And that hadn't struck me at all prior mm -hmm. to this. But maybe that's a, something we should be keeping in our heads. Yeah. That, and then the Another one, and I only have three more to go. So, but but mm -hmm. but the, it's an open list. Oh, I mean, sure. So, yeah. You know, whatever is needed, and we'd look to the town often, constantly, to figure out. So, so just on the last one, just as an yeah. example, so there might be some money available for somebody that came and said, uh, you know, my old logging roads are getting yeah um, grown in. Uh, are Possible. getting grown in and and yeah. and, and what would could we get them clear or even the if they were willing to open that up to private people to come in and cut the down you know the what's down to get it out of the way perhaps we could help pay an attorney to draw up a liability release yeah I don't know what it would take to I don't know either deal with the well, maybe we could get a couple you know yeah. but that would would cover the liability for having someone else come onto the land but if we could keep those roads mowed you know yes yeah yeah exactly you know if you mow the trees exactly. when they're right this big you yeah. know yeah. Th yeah they don't grow up yeah <laughs> yeah but uh, some of these are things that have come up quite recently of course sure. as other yeah. ideas go out and yeah. maybe maybe in a couple of AmeriCorps people here. They work for a whole year. Mm -hmm. They focus on poverty, but Franklin County is the poorest county in the state, yeah. and I think if you took off our top two or three or ten people here in town, you would, I mean, I, I always say we, we sort of have to, two normal curves here, and we can prove that there's need, I think, without any much problem. Uh, food production and storage, that's something we and I have both been interested in. Um, helping people build root cellars, if that is what they would like to do. Um, I, I love my root cellar. I'm just finishing up last year's crop, and I could have stored more if the groundhogs... <laughs> if somebody hadn't killed the coyotes who eat Oops. the rabbits and deer, who... who yeah, I like coyotes. <laughs> who... who eat the, the groundhogs, 
I had to dispatch three of them myself. Groundhog. With, with, yes. I've had with, a lot at my house. Yeah. yeah. The, well, I mean, I have, I, yeah. I call my have a heart trap a ha ha trap because, <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't have a heart, and no. and then and then the la, the yeah. last one I thought, uh, sorry, did you want to say something about this one? No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. the last one um, because some of our um, some of our naysayers are big uh, conserved land people with lots of conserved land and. They feel that even just giving the, the numbers that Lee has put together is anti-conservation. Well, we don't, most people don't read it that way, but some of them That was are. certainly not the intent. It's, it was simply to make a statement yeah. as to what. I, I've talked to several people and I, and I say, um, I mention this and they say, wow, I didn't see that there, this, you know, but it did seem like a, there was a real emphasis in, I don't know if it was that document, but yeah. on on encouraging people to pay pilot payments that they're not obligated to pay. To, yeah. to consider yeah. making a donation right? because right. they are but having I felt, some but savings. I, that, that was my favorite part of the pamphlet. <laughs> okay. Well, that was. Well, but, yeah. but that, that inference was my favorite part. I got people, that too. Not, they've that's, given up, that's a conversation that really needs to get started. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, they've given up some of the privileges of landowners in order to make this the place we want to live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, without conserv conserved land, none of us would probably, or few of us, would be here. Someone, it would be a different place, perhaps. It would be a different place. In any case, uh, uh, I'm thinking, okay, I, I, I lived on the fringes of Beacon Hill, the unfashionable side, for 25 years. And uh, one of the things that the people did that was very good was they had open gardens once a year. Everybody loved it. And I'm thinking, well, conserved land. Why not have a day when any Conway resident could be shown around to conserve, conserved, a, you know, ag, ag, APR, and, and recreational, yeah. and maybe pick two or three properties a year whose mm -hmm. owners want to do that, and, you know, don't hide under a bushel, just come out and say what you're doing and why it's good. It's celebrated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the wonderful things that have happened since we put so, this land into conservation. Yeah. And the active steps we've made to bring, we have this bird back now. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. type of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, this one statement was badly written about seeking pile of pavements to the town, not to the trust, from large institutional landowners. Uh, they would be to the town, and it is yes, the town's obligation to seek those pilot payments. And you really did watch it. You're, you're, you bet I did. Damn, well, damn, we both did. Damn, took, took twice. Notes. Twice I watched it. <laughs> I watched it once, but I took notes. We did make an effort to do this about ten years ago, mm -hmm. and most of the owners at that point. Uh, said, wait a minute, uh, thank you for your correspondence, we're, but we're in the, <laughs> not in the business of spending money, we're in the business of collecting it to fund our own programs. And we had even presented it in the light of these are the, this is the minimum amount that one would pay for your property for just the public's uh, emergency services alone, should someone need them yeah. mm -hmm. while they're on your property. Yeah. But it rather ended with a statement that, uh, well, should you need services, you will be billed. But at any rate, it can't hurt to ask again. Mm -hmm. The waterworks are obliged by law to make a payment to the towns other than their own town, which host their watersheds, etc. reservoirs. So we have Northampton and Deerfield. We have Northampton and mm -hmm. South Deerfield. We're working on it. The formulas are very complex, having to do with three-year averages and whether or not it was owned before 1946 and so on and so forth. Um, it's, it's coming along. It's not at the top of my list. But um, if the trust could help in any way to promote these ideas with the property owners, to... Mm -hmm 
perhaps carry the town commu- I don't know what I don't mm-hmm. have that in my head yet but that is a source of funding to the town that we should try to pick up on again mm-hmm. okay. I would be really glad to pick up on that um, especially with Deerfield and I mean, there's there's other things going on in our relationship with those towns mm-hmm. where we are the, these, uh, these are specifically with the water districts, right? Not mm-hmm. the town in general, right? Yep. Um, but that but, would be but great. they they are for the first time the water district is charging Frontier. Oh really? Um, and they wanted to charge. Uh, I'm not going to say what they wanted to charge. The the the, the amount was eventually negotiated down to fifteen thousand, but that's just for a couple of years, mm-hmm. and they're not even. Um, but there never was a charge for the way and, and you can interpret our regional agreement as sort of not allowing any additional charges from the towns to the mm-hmm. school um, uh, but you know it's we're, we're kind of at that point in our relationship with right. our with those towns where where everybody is is, yes. is counting well, is all counting of our, and keeping all of our score communities. Mm-hmm. and and we're all and, like keeping, we have to do we the have same to sharpening yeah. the pencil so, everywhere no, we can the town of Deerfield the, the frontier is paying to the Deerfield Water Commission correct the Deerfield Correct. Water the water districts are separate from town government. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so they send out their own tax bills mm-hmm. and water bills, or so water and sewer bills. And so although a municipal agency, they have their own um, set of laws and, and all. Mm-hmm. And is Frontier on Water Commission, Water District land? No. Is that... Is that no, but they use the water. They yeah. Um, they and, use the water and they <laughs> discharge the water. In the district. Sure. They're in the district. They discharge it, and therefore yeah. they have uh-huh. water treatment okay. costs. But it's a whole right. big thing yeah. because a lot of what they use goes to fields and doesn't get discharged through the system, and they shouldn't mm-hmm. really get charged for that. But it's hard. They don't know how to meter it, and right. and it's a. Um, hmm. this is, I sat through are way you, too many. Are you ladies going to have a hand down for the town meeting? We need to rewrite this, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, we but for the pre-town what? meeting. Yes. So, uh, I, mean, to I don't know about pre-town. I'd love, like to, be. I'd love to be ready for pre-town for the meeting. Pre-town meeting. So, so, so pre-town yeah. meeting, but certainly yeah. the town meeting. Yes. Yeah. If it's no, a completely will, private will, thing, why did, you, why, is it, why did you put it in a warrant? That's what confused me Why did me we? Too. Because we, we didn't realize that we would get the opposition from large landowners that we've gotten. And I really want us to be able to go to market, to foundations, to FERCOG, with a unanimous vote. And we also and wanted it to be completely you know, transparent. Mm-hmm. You know. And that's a wonderful way to notify our residents. There's no model here. We're doing something mm-hmm. new. Yeah. And so we're learning on the job, yeah. although we've had pr- prior job experiences <laughs> of various sorts. Bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but so it ju- we are not ready, and we want, and, and I really just, um, I'm so interested in getting a near unanimous or unanimous vote to be able to go to whoever. I mean, some of the big foundations may be interested in a little town that's doing an innovative thing and not, you know, sitting on its mm-hmm. fanny. Right. So, so I, I mean, I, I, I totally get the heartfelt thing that you, I, I get it. It's, and I encourage it. It's great. Um, yeah. And I, uh, you know. I, I'm t- getting taken to the woodshed. I deserve it. I guess um, it's all right. Um, but the, you've been there before. Yeah, I'll be there again. <laughs> Who has? Um, but the, the 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 a couple things just to think about, and the, you know, to, w- one of one of the reasons why I was sort of not real well um, it, prickly. That t- t- to me, to me, like when the, that we as citizens, as residents, should not be. Um, uh, looking to philanthropy to solve our problems, especially problems that in an ideal world government would be constructed to solve. And that I think that we, we, we let government off the hook when we seek um, ph- philanthro- philanthropic uh, uh, systems or wh- whatever, it, it, to, to an extent. There's, there's, there's some things that, that are fine-grained enough that it, 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 there's a place for, what, for, for the thing. There's a lot of other things that um, you know, water, clean water, clean air, things like that, is functioning, a toilet, whatever. To me, those are like basic. Th- those are things that a government should be constructed to be able to assist. Well, um, and, and in it's the not. Real world. It, it's not. But but it could be <laughs> if if we had all that energy that's that's going into this to, to like agitating for like government to be better. I, I wonder what could happen. But it. Well, um, this um, may, this may be an intermediary. Yeah. Or yes, or I might 
I yeah. might give me, I might not agree to some extent. I think citizens' efforts are very important. The swimming pool, for example, or mm -hmm. you, do we feel the town should be running the swimming pool? I don't think so. But that's that we do it that way so that there doesn't have to be. It's a lot less expensive that way because you don't have to have lifeguards. You don't have to have right. running, running water in bathrooms. I believe okay. it was right. also right. written into the donation of the land that. Thank you, ladies. Yes. And we will see you at uh, town meeting and hopefully pre town meeting. Yeah. Pre town meeting. Yeah. Yes. Thank oh, you we'll for your time. Oh, um, just to say uh, what the obvious is, we would consult with any of you individually or severally uh, with new ideas or objections or advice. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it's, it's so exciting actually uh, getting this thing not quite off the ground but getting there. So I know you're used Sometimes to pre-town meeting, together, but you may come and not not be voted. One of the highest things that people want to talk about, and then that's okay. And we, then yeah, so we yeah. know. Although I'm sort of counting on Jimmy Record to push us to the top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because he he likes this. Oh, oh good. Thank, thank you, you ladies. He likes the tra a track team bill his first track team better. <laughs> thank you for coming in. My guess. But Thanks for your time. All right. Next item on the agenda is uh, Article 29, the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District Memo, Recycling Contracts. Yes. And this, okay. you know, this could have been just a piece of mail, but I thought it was worth going over just to be sure that um, the whole board understands it before, before going forward. Um, this is what we're approaching the end of one of our recycling contracts and we do that through the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District. They're looking for a new uh, contract now and uh, they're being pushed by the Department of Environmental Protection to do that by the end of the year. And the uh, email that's here um, is kind of a cover letter about that and uh, if we if we don't do that, we won't be able to take advantage of their bid for 15 years. It's a 10-year contract with an option to renew for five years. Mm -hmm. So it has to be treated as a 15-year contract. So this would be something that, that would be um, uh, signed by the end of this calendar year then we would have to fund it in future years. Um, and it has to pass at a town meeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, we're, we will be spending money. Yeah. Um, but we won't be spending it until uh, fiscal year 2021. Um, so the, the contract expires June 30th, 2020. Um, so there's specific information on this uh, I just I just encourage people to read this. The Board of Health should be presenting this, uh, but it is complicated. And um, for any contract over three years, it has to be voted on by town meeting. So th there are there are some exceptions to that now, but uh, this is this is a big contract. It's important for the town and it's got to be done soon. The DEP is very clear on that and we have to replace the contract that's coming due a year from this June, well before it is, it expires. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is authorizing the select board to sign a multi-year contract contract over over three years in its simplest terms yeah. um, but really it's signing in effect a 15-year contract and this is the best that the franklin county solid waste management district could do uh during during this process and they are looking at alternatives to the Springfield MRF. They don't expect any of them to come in cheaper. Um, but that will be part of the 
actual contract renewal and signing. So mm -hmm. this is not limiting the select board to signing any particular contract. It's just authorizing them to serve a contract, one of which we know would be from the Springfield MRF. And it's, it's always for 10 years, this one has a five-year extension, which is also a new feature. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to be okay. sure that everybody had all this information. What's the sound waste district that important. the towns that are not in the Franklin County one are in? Our neighboring towns, there's another one. It's the one that Shelburne's in, I think it's in there. Well, Greenfield, for example, is not in the... Yeah, no, there's, there's another governmental entity that the towns that aren't part of that are in. And I don't know whether it's... I'm not ringing a bell to anybody. Oh, I, I, All right, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it more. Yeah. So there are... Uh, yeah, there's one. All right. Thank you, Tom. I was at a Mass Mutual Association meeting with, and Governor Sarno was there talking about what Springfield May, what, May, Mayor Sarno. May, Mayor Sarno, oh, yeah. yeah. He and, and, yeah, right. So. And 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 looking at what this is doing to them, you know, and oh, they're good. they're about ready to cancel all recycling and just yeah. just collect trash. There are a lot a lot yeah. of a lot of cities who are basically saying. It's costing us more to do recycling right, yeah. than it's worth, yeah. and we're just going to throw everything in the garbage. That's right. Exactly the attitude Back of a number of mayors who I know. Well, Tom, we talked about it that at the last. Oh, uh, it, it's a major priority for yeah. the Mass Municipal Association yeah. right now. Yeah. The thing is, is that um, over the next ten to fifteen years, there may very well be a new way of doing things, so that eventually. Um, but this, the, you're saying this is going to get waste. Us, it's recycled yeah, like, materials. Up to that, though, I mean, this, this is going to allow us to continue doing recycling. For yeah, and for and it, it does. Um, you know, uh, for the last year, um, it's going to go down. We're we're getting eight dollars a ton, uh, and it's going to go down to six dollars a ton July first. So it's going down, but we're still. Yeah. We're still getting money for it here. And some of that is because the Springfield Murph is a good system, and it has built into it that we that they have people hand picking down there, and it's um, it's better than a lot of towns are doing. I'll put it that way. Yes. Uh, but we'll know more. And again, this is just authorizing the select board to sign a contract. It's not they can't force signing a contract. So yeah, that's um, you know. This will be something coming up, though, in six months. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Survey of residents regarding electricity aggregation. Do you have something for us on that, Bob? Or is Tom going to do something? Well, we that? talked about it last week and proposed that we write something that would be a little closer to looking like something Conway might send out. So I wrote something, which was... I'll say mostly changing the word Sunderland to the word Conway, but not okay. entirely. All right. And uh, and the only other thing that got mentioned last time was if there was a way to say about what we expect these greener products, that, you know, including greener electricity, what they would cost. So, yeah, you're not going to know that so, until, so, until the market so, so you get your bid at the time. So this is very general, yes. not talking about cost, just what do people prefer. Yeah. And, and maybe it's best just to leave the money out of it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this, this, this is a good survey. Just three questions, that's fine. Yeah. You just, might even you, want to say three question electricity survey, because that's super quick, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, still, still makes them turn the page. You just want to get the pulse. I thought I thought putting numbers in there was important because that was the key thing for a lot of people. But so it is possible to have estimates of you know something that costs a tenth of a penny or a hundredth of a penny, or you know over the whatever our cheapest rate would be, which should be less than the utility, and and or, to, or to whatever. Me, to me, that's what makes sense because the the it, it's the 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 um, the trade offs are real. And, and you can't make a decision based on trade-offs um, if you don't know that there is a trade-off. So, 
I, well, that's I, true I could, for question two. I could give you some real numbers on some of our recent bids. If you want to look at those. Somewhere I wrote down some the, some real numbers, and the, no, I don't see The danger in doing that is that the numbers will change. They are going to change. By yeah. the time yeah. this, 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 this gets into gear. Question one doesn't depend on any numbers. Um, question two could depend on numbers. Question three doesn't really depend on numbers. Um, so... Maybe, maybe that can be finessed. Um, There's more room in the somehow. change. You can go to four or five if you're going to do it. I mean, if you're sending out a one-page thing, um, I would better to have another question than a blank space. But we could have another question. I'm not sure what it would be. But I don't um, know. To some extent, it's. I always want to know whether people thought we should be called Conwayians or Conwayites. <laughs> 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 Conwegians, yeah, I like that. Eventually, and it may not be until the end of the summer or so, when we actually go off to bid for our electricity, we're going to get bids back, and and we as a board will have to decide which bids to accept. And uh, it would, you know, I do agree that it would be nice to have a sense of what people want when when we yeah. do that. So. Yes, that's the goal. Yeah. Okay. That's so then, the question of how we send this out. So Tom looked into. Whether whether the reply could come back through bulk mail and determine yeah, and, it and yeah, no, it won't work. Um, yeah, uh, postcards would be the way to do it. That would cost about two hundred and fifty dollars for the postcards, plus a hundred dollars for the initial mailing, uh, or a hundred and fifty. So the the total. So we would put a postcard in an envelope and bulk mail that. Yeah, and the postcards would be stamped, and they could just drop it in the mail. Uh, yes, um, for, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, is, yeah. I don't know. So, so you're thinking. talking about something, a process that would cost about $400. Uh-huh. Do you get, so, do you get, do we get value? Figure. Do we get, is that, that, is that worth the value? I don't know whether it's worth four hundred dollars, but to me, it's very valuable to understand what the town wants. I mean, otherwise, we're going to be making this choice without knowing. I mean, we could hand out a survey and ask them to drop it off at town hall. I think it's but, cheap, but uh, and, and it guarantees that everybody's going to have the opportunity to submit the survey, right. which is an important thing too. They can yes. not take the opportunity. Yeah. But it gives them the opportunity to do that. Yeah, it's worth it's worth the four hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Do we have the four hundred dollars? I mean, do, do we? Uh, yeah. So we're buried in the yeah. budget, but from um, this year. We, we have we have plenty of money. Okay. So I would like to make a motion that we For, in terms that, of that we that we do this, and at a cost of four hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, well, what would it or thereabouts. Thereabouts. But w with the understanding that that's a ballpark figure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll second that motion. Phil. Um. I guess I'm, I'll 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 rely on your gentleman's expertise and opinion in this area. Okay. Do we have? Uh, so I vote all in favor. But, yeah. Aye. Okay. Good. Great. Unanimous. Very good. Thank you, Bob. Okay, next one is, uh, next item on the agenda is to approve the Public Employee Committee's Health Plan Change Mitigation Plans. Okay. Uh, I am pleased uh, to report that um, the plan was agreed to good. by uh, the unions and the retirees. Good. And they've already signed uh, the copies uh, that are that are there for John. They just need the uh, select board signatures, and then I'll mail a copy back to each of them, and we'll have a copy here for the town office, which is why there are so many copies there. Yes, <laughs> this is a very involved process. Yeah, mm. and uh, I'm glad that we we reached an agreement here. So I'm going to make a motion that we approve the uh, proposal for municipal health reform uh, 
the Town of Conway Health Plan proposal effective July 1, 2019. Do I have a second? Second. Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Yes. Aye. Great. Thanks for all the work you did on this, Tom. You're welcome. It was uh, touch and go for a minute there with the timing, but luckily, good faith ruled the day, and um, it's actually a much better proposal than it was uh, last year. Okay. So that helped as well. There are five copies. Oh my lord! Uh, I've got four, 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 copies. four copies. Okay, that, that makes sense. Two unions, retirees in the town. That's one. <sighs> oh no! Wait, I'm sorry. There's another one here. There's five copies. One for uh, the union president. So, uh, who was unfortunately unable to make it to the meeting, but yeah, um, passed anyway. Passed unanimously. Here's the clip for that. Oh, that's good. Under new business, uh, we need to set a date for the scholarship discussion. Is yeah. that for the, the Jermaine Scholarship Tom? Uh, yes, um, and that is, um, thank you. Um, I believe Lisa had suggested the uh, the week that is the town meeting and election week, usually you, you've met on a Wednesday or Thursday or Friday morning. Um, okay. You know, not not part of the uh, the usual business, but as it's a, its own meeting. Right. Um, and so... So you mean shortly after the town meeting? That, the, yeah, that week? Yeah, so sometime that week. That Friday morning, is that Friday morning good? Or do you want to get out yeah, of there um, sooner? I, I was thinking about this because my daughter's a high school senior and I know all these seniors' parents like so well. They're all, um, if it's like choosing as between some versus other, I don't know. It might be something that I would prefer to recuse mm -hmm. myself from. Mm -hmm. So I want to find out exactly what it is I'll be voting on. Because yeah, if, if I'm, I, I don't want to be uncomfortable sitting across from dinner from my friends. Yeah, it, it's just... D you don't have to. You don't. You don't have to worry about it. All right. You don't. Okay. Don't. Don't worry about it. You're, All right. I'm you're, not. You're. You're. you're, right. you're Worry's gone. You're overanalyzing it. Okay. A frequent mistake. Okay. So the Friday morning of uh, town meeting week. That would be, would be May eighteenth, uh, seventeenth, seventeenth. Okay. Uh, the Friday morning is good for me. It is. Okay. It's good for you too, Phil. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock's good. May 17th. Uh, can you make it 9.30 just so yeah, that yeah, yeah. Lisa yeah, and I can, can get things together? Yeah, uh, good. Okay, 9.30. That's good for you, Phil? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, parks. Next item on the agenda is parks, recreation, and trails, field use policy. Tom, do you have something on that? Yes. You should have a, a single sheet, double-sided. Um, this is yet another example of Julie Petty's fine work for Conway Youth Sports. Um, yeah, she has sorted she did through, a nice job on this. Sorted through an unbelievable number of issues and groups and individuals, mm -hmm. and come up with something that is uh, a good common sense response to everybody's really good questions, and um, it's. Uh, very well thought out, very well presented, 
and uh, this is really just for your information. They they have a whole a whole binder of policies now okay. that are um, that are. It's just very useful to have written policies when people might want to do things their own way and. And we've thought through all of the ramifications of doing those things. So this is um, probably the final one we'll get from Julie. Uh, but it is, it's great because it covers everybody. It gives priority mm -hmm. to groups down at the bottom there, you'll notice, yeah. which is um, excellent. It, uh, the committee reserves the right to reject any request, to charge a fee for the use of its facilities, and to evict any group. If the group's activity is destructive to the facility, disruptors to disruptive to abutters or adjacent users, that was the only part that was or a in violation of these policies. Sketchy, the, the idea that you can just rent, charge, just decide who to charge a fee to. There's uh, it, all this stuff well, depends on goodwill. You can't lawyer it up too much. It's all right. That, that's true. Yeah. That's As true. does but, our yeah. civilization in general. Uh, unfortunately, yes. that is true. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I thought that was very well done. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Tom. Uh, so are we going to adopt this? or is No, this no, we're going to have to just do. information only. They, they, it's they, their, their policy. Yeah. You know. if, if you wanted to do something, you'd have to look through their whole policy book and take that on yourselves, and I think they've done that work for you admirably. Okay. Items on anticipated 48 hours in advance, Tom? Do we have any? Nothing from me. Okay, you have your update, Tom? Yes, I do. Fairly short. Thank you. Um, there was a delay in shipping the town reports, but people should receive them by Thursday or Friday at the latest. Uh, I've this also week? put yes, that up on, on the web. Normally people would have had it by today, and um, we're using a new um, mailer, and it was not as smooth as it might have been. So now I call them up today and uh, They'll certainly have them by, oh, uh, next Monday is the pre-town meeting. meeting. Uh, everyone should certainly have had a chance to look at the materials before then. Okay. So that's, uh, that's a key concept there, and we should, we should meet that anyway. Um, I have not received any further ideas for a retirement gift for the town clerk. For at least part of it, I suggest a gift certificate uh, for a knitting store, I've done some research and have one in mind. And you want something that's photo worthy, that's hand over worthy, a certificate. Well, we're, 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 we'll do we'll do a we'll do a certificate. Yeah, we'll do a certificate. I, I, I actually did a little bit of research to see what the gift was to Henry Billings, who was the longest serving public servant in town history. He was fifty years town clerk, and I don't know how many, and it was fifty gold coins. But, mm. Which seems a bit pricey since a Kruger on is what fourteen hundred dollars right now, but uh, that, um, that would, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. <clears throat> but that is what the historical precedent would be if you gold are in foiled chocolate. Gold, is that what you have in mind? gold foil chocolate, you know, it, it, it would that, be, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, those it, those it are, that's typically not the best chocolate, however. Just, just yeah. saying, but it's photo uh, like So, it. so I look forward also to receiving uh, ideas, more ideas, but. Um, I believe that, that this would be a quite an appropriate and welcome gift from for our town clerk. So um, I, I like more see, ideas if, are if, if we if we give her too. something like this, but I'd like to see something more permanent that can be. Oh, she'll um, make it into something permanent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> you could wear it. You could wear something. You could wear it too. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you know what I mean. I look forward yeah. to more ideas and uh, okay, etc. A couple of people have complained about the tattered flag at the ball field. I've asked our veterans' graves mm -hmm. officer, Don Graham, to take it down, wait, and wait, I have wait, ordered wait. a new flag. At, at our ball field? Yeah. It's tattered? Yeah. Since when? Uh, somebody just noticed it last week, and I, it's I gotten worse now. Hmm. The, the bottom when stripe I, is off. When did I see it last? Hmm. I didn't see it too is long it? ago, and it was 
in pretty yeah. good shape. Well, it's was this, not. Was this the uh, the wind that we just recently had? That or something? eighty mile an hour was got um, yeah. yeah. There's there's been a lot of a lot of that. Um, uh, I did order a flag that isn't what was shipped. Um, I have an email out asking for advice, and I did get clarification just before five thirty tonight. Uh, that what they shipped is what is right for us, no matter what it was that I ordered. They, they, they um, what did wow. they say is right? Sounds for like us? a store um, run by my mother. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's the polyester flag, which they say is the strongest. Right. Um, as opposed to the extra strength nylon, which is not as strong as, as the, the regular yeah. strength polyester. So, Same size though. Yeah. It. This is a. This is going to be a four by six, which is what we have six. here at Memorial. I think we've had a three by five up there, but I think a four by six is um, uh, more appropriate for something that's taking up that visual space. Yeah, absolutely. Still, yes. I don't know about our vendor though. It sounds like Betsy Ross is getting a bit of an attitude. Well, it's what we ordered last time too, so that helped. Um, uh, finally, uh, I signed a letter of authorization for Colonial Power to access the town's electricity historical usage data. As you may know, this is a standard aspect of the aggregation effort. So yes, I'll just is. inform yes. you that that is an action I took. They sent That's out a, uh, a request for this document and then shortly sent a note back thanking Tom for being by far the quickest response <laughs> of all of the town. Yeah, without the data, they can't do a bid, and you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. necessary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Uh, select board comments. Do we have any select board comments? No, no select board comments. Okay. Mail. Let's see what we have in the mail. We have our 2018 mm -hmm. annual report mm -hmm. from the Franklin Regional Council of Governments. Um, we all get a copy of this, correct? No. Oh. Uh, no. The select board gets a copy, and the FERCOG council representative gets a copy. Oh, I get my own copy. Oh, okay. That's, that would be in your red folder. Yes, it is, yeah. Okay. So this will be but kept here, and we can read it. This, yeah. this, is, this is a very good document. It shows. Uh, the last couple of pages are things they've done that have benefited Conway in particular. I would like to see it. It is customized. I can see that. Yeah, they, they, that's a very, very good report. Okay, next item, announcements. Okay, we have one announcement. Um, okay, on Saturday, May 18th at 9 a.m. until noon, there is a clean sweep bulky waste recycling day. And the closest one to us is the Waitley Transfer Station at uh, 73 Christian Avenue. And it's for all of your things like uh, tires, televisions, uh, computers, scrap metal, big items. Tom, can we get this on the website, perhaps? Uh, yes, okay. yes. And there's, a, there's a, a price list on the back as well. Oh yes, a price list, right. You have to pay to get these things taken. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's usually in the recorder too, right? The, in, they usually put that in the recorder before they do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, so they probably, I mean, I believe they sent us all a notice about it. I don't know if it was with the price list, but. Yeah. Well, we can, oh, so we can uh, stick that on the uh, uh, Along with that, out. just as one of the things of the 48 hours, uh, like I just saw it was in today's paper, um, they were celebrating Leiden's um, uh, town-wide cleanup day. And it's a tradition. They've been doing it uh, uh, once, once a year for I don't know how many years. But I thought that was a really neat idea that any uh, people can just gather at town hall, however many people show up, and just a town-wide <laughs> cleanup, litter pickup kind of a thing. And... Um, Free doesn't cost like anything. Down the ball field, or I, I, yeah. I would talk to the uh, board of health about that. Um. Mm. Yeah. Good. I'll uh, I'll relay right. your idea to them. What, yeah. Was the recorder? The recorder pays to Great. subscribe. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, next meeting is uh, next Monday, 
the 6th of May. It's May already. Can you imagine? Here in the town office at 6 p.m. Uh, followed by the pre-town meeting. Followed by the pre-town meeting at 7. Is it 7 or 7.30? 7 7.30. Yes. Oh, it might be 7. I think it's 7. I think it's 7. I'm not sure. Um, I just got the Mary just sent out an email. Yeah. I think it's 7. Yeah, it is. I've got it at seven in my Yeah, it's seven. It's seven time. Potluck dessert. Seven to eight thirty. Seven to eight thirty, right. Okay. If there is no more uh, business to come before the board, I will uh, make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor. Aye. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank Tom. You. Thank you.